Hi everyone. <clears throat> so, my first video caused a lot of people to think that I'm trying to make the machine looks bad. And I'm not doing that because, again, this is a machine that I pay for and it wasn't sent to me for free. I'm not doing nothing to make the machine look bad. What I'm looking is to test the machine that I got, tell you what is good, what is not good, and go from there. So, I have a bunch of materials here. Let me move this camera for you. I have a bunch of materials here. And I'm on XCS. I tried to do the fix on the shield. It didn't really work, but it goes a little bit better. Uh, so, what we're gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be running different materials, with different settings that I use on my F1. Uh, settings in, you know, files that I've been using also on my fiber and on my 20 watt diodes so I'm not gonna be doing nothing completely new for me uh, it's going to be more like testing the machine and making sure that everything works first of all I'm going to set my working area so I have these ones uh, they are two free uh, fixtures that you can put on the machine really easy and it has a little arrow here to tell you what is the center of this area specifically so if i if i need one of these i'll use them i have the screws here they're all just put in place on a screw tool free again uh it's easier but i'm not i'm gonna try to not use nothing that doesn't come with the machine the reason being is because again some people is telling me that things that I'm using I'm, <laughs> are not necessarily working and I don't know how one fixture will interfere with engraving but I'll say that I don't know it's on them so let's start with this and the first thing they're gonna do is I'm gonna grab these are Excel business card okay these are business cards sent on Excel None of these were bought on Amazon or nothing like that. These are Excel business cards. So I'm gonna grab one business card. I'm gonna just throw it in here, as it is. I'm going to create a new file. I'm gonna put my laptop here so you can uh, see that I'm not opening nothing or whatever. I'm gonna move you guys here really quick so you can actually see what I'm doing. And what I'm gonna do is, first I'm going to create a little circle just a little circle, whole shift, so it's there. I'm going to select this circle to engrave. Okay. And I'm gonna engrave this, I'm gonna open easy panel with the infrared, with the fiber, because the fiber is supposed to be the one working on metal. I don't know why they default the business cards with the blue light, that's not the right way to do it. But I wanna set it with the fiber, which is the same that I use normally. And I'm gonna go and create a material test array. So this is the material test array that I have right now. 1035, 55, 75, and 100 uh, on power. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple more columns. So I'm gonna say that I want, let's see, this is, power minimum 10% maximum 10 and it's going to be 10 rows so I'm going on a scale of 10 so this is what I'm going to do right now so I have 10 there in power and speed is a that is 5 I'm gonna I'm gonna actually do uh, 10 by 6 to keep the proportion of the business card I'm gonna click OK on this, so I have my test grid, and I want you to. Sh I want to show you this. I'm gonna ungroup, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the numbers. I don't care about the numbers. I have them on my screen. I just want. I know right now that this is the 10% power, and goes to 100% power left to right, and it's going uh, and scale on the speed. 10th speed, 2,000, 4,000, 8,000, 
So actually, let's do something different. Let's change this because I know that 10 is on a speed is way too little. So I'm gonna do 500. 500 to 10,000 in speed. Okay, so power are 10 columns and speed is going to be six rows. There we go. I'm gonna ungroup this. I'm going to raise the numbers again. The left lower corner is the lower speed and the lower power is 10 and 500 and they go 10, 20, 30, all the way to 100 and 500 then I have uh, 2400, 4300, 6200, 8100, and 10,000. So, erase this. I just want to see how consistent this will come up. So, this is a grid from X to create space. I'm not putting a grid from nothing different. Okay, so there's a user that said, like That's not an X to grid. It, it, it was so what I'm gonna do here is gonna frame I'm gonna move you here so it should be framing aha uh -huh. error number one I didn't take the lens cap so since I didn't took the lens cap I'm gonna do this I didn't focus on nothing that's what everything looks like it is so see this is why I have these little things always on my fibers and I'm gonna put this here there we go so now I always see this dangling so I can take it out so I gotta focus so this is an auto focus machine I can focus manually but I'm not gonna focus there I mean it's pretty much in place but I'm gonna hit the focus again so it's gonna do the measuring. There it is, it's now in focus. So now I'm going to hit frame. You'll see that the framing is big. This is way bigger than the business card. So I'm going to select everything. Here it is. So don't think that I'm doing something different. I'm going to select everything and I make it smaller. Uh, so that bigger there we go this is the center so I want to actually now move it by hand there we go now this is inside the area I'm gonna close my shield now that everything is there I'm gonna stop framing hit processing and this is the first test grid, okay? And I'm gonna hit start. You will see the job is coming here now. So you will see it here, and I wanna hit start. And that's the fiber going. All right, this is done. So, here are the results and you can see the halo around the circles of course this is fading to the 10,000 in a 10 percent power and this is going from the 10 percent power to the 100 percent power so let me see this I'm gonna turn this light here so Let's see where is the cable. Oh, we should plug this light. Boom! Light! Alright! So now we see this a lot better. Also because I'm blind. So you will see that there is some issues in the lower speed. That the speed is concentrated on the edges. And that's because there is no overscan. So it goes at the end and start again on the end and start again at the end and it goes like exactly. So there's no overscan to, you know, fade the power. So it's basically doing this weird effect. 
of course the lower the lower speed 500 works 500 still is a good speed is fast but I usually do this thing on a fiber over a thousand just to see this now I'm gonna do another speed test with the same thing on a fiber and this time on a steel opener so let's hit that I'm going to do the focusing again just to ensure turn this light up no need to have that extra light there now that is some focus I'm going to do this and I have to make this one a little bit smaller to fit in the right place so I'm going to do that now there we go I'm gonna put it here so this is on a stainless steel I'm gonna hit process close the shield start And stainless steel needs a slower power. I'm doing the same one that I did on the business card. That is not the right speed test for stainless steel. I just want to show you what happened. And then I'm going to create a new grid for stainless steel. go let's put the ring light on so we can see exactly what happened so you will see that it marks on these ones if we want a black marking then we have the silver marking on the second row there is a little bit of a halo it's still on the edges so the halo is not going to go away it doesn't look bad on the steel compared to on the car Let's make a test grid for steel. So it's gonna be kind of a long video. Uh, I apologize about that. I just wanna be really thorough. Uh, thorough whatever, whatever word. Um, I can't talk today. I mean, I need more coffee, I guess. Uh, but I wanna make a new speed test. So again, circle. I make a little circle here. Once I have the circle, I want to make sure that I'm on engrave. That's what I wanted. So they have their materials, of course, to that. But I just need to create a circle, really, and select an engrave. So on the EC panel, you want to make sure that you select a fiber. That's what you want to make your test grid for. I'm going to make the test grid here. And in this case, you say power 10 to 100. And I'm gonna change this because I wanna do it more like I will actually do this a speed. I wanna say 10 to 500, five by five. And that should be a good test for this. So I'm gonna frame. So you see the size is huge. Let me put it over here. The size is huge for it so I'm going to make it smaller so it fits and that's one of the reasons I take the text so I take the text usually out because I don't want to use that extra space so we know you know 10 to 100 in power and 10 to 500 on speed so I want to erase it that I don't need it I don't need a title I just need this so I'm gonna frame this again framing let's see there it is so it's almost there just a little bit smaller There we go. Processing. Let's 
start comes to my little screen I love the screen the screen is amazing let me tell you that it's super responsive really nice and I'm starting this so as you can see uh, there is a little bit more sparkles and it's a little bit more black for sure so you definitely see the proper test for the proper material so I want to show in the beginning what happened and how it goes because a lot of people think that I just throw random stuff to make it fail and that's not the case if you wonder where is this going on the fumes it's connected there It's like when it goes to the edges, has a lot more power for whatever reason. I see the sparkle jumping higher when it gets into the edge. I don't know if you guys can see that. But every time it goes to the edge, exactly, it gets like a higher sparkle. Right in the edges. That might be causing this halo because these are stronger or something no idea i mean it's a really pretty black though it's coming really nice on the stainless steel this is something that if you want to do it on the f1 the small version of it the two what it will take you forever you will be doing this at one millimeter per second and probably 25 passes to get this dark and maybe you never make it. I didn't have the patience though. Okay, tunnel is stopped. I don't know why. We still say processing on this screen, but I don't see a light going on. Still alive. wonder what happened it just completely stopped the screen still says processing but it's not doing anything there it is that was weird. All right, he's done with the job. So apparently the infrared laser didn't fire on 10% because as you can see here, we have one, two, three, four columns, and we have here five. Same in here, so at 10% decide to not fire. That's interesting. I wonder what happened with that. All right, let's go to the little ring light started here let's see what is this about there is the light so this came out very nice actually so I don't see the halo I see a little bit in this one up here and in this one here there is a little bit of a halo I don't know if you guys will see that this this too has also a little bit of a halo nothing nothing major of course it needs to be cleaned up but mm -hmm. yeah there's not a lot of residue so this 
you can feel the marking is there, you know, the oxidation is there, it's not leaving residue, so that's nice. But yeah, this too has the biggest halo, and this one here. The rest are pretty decent, they're pretty good actually. This one is a nice mark and clean mark, this one here. But I skip a complete line that didn't do anything, it just decided to not fire at 10%. So, extra, please, uh, if you want to leave a comment and let me know why it didn't fire, it will be great. Alright, let's jump to the next thing. So, let's put it here. Let's do now a thickening. This is a thicker coat. This is not a business card coat. This is the same kind of a coat that we use on that one. So I'm gonna put it here, and of course, I'm going to focus. I wanna make sure that it's always in focus. Doesn't matter if it's the same thing, doesn't matter. Focus always, make sure that it's uh, right on the spot. Focusing is the most important thing that you have to do on every laser. Doesn't matter the brand, doesn't matter the size. Just taking a minute. Uh, on this there it is so it went from 1.3 to 1.7 so it's just a little bit more thick because I guess the coating so I'm gonna frame this and actually I'm not going to change this line that wasn't 10 percent 10 percent power one pass and speed 10 millimeters per second that's the first one. It didn't do it though. The second one said that was 10% power and 133 millimeters per second. So it really skipped the entire line of power 10%. So I wonder if I change the power to 11, that this will probably make it work. So I want to check that all are fine. 11% is so a 10 millimeter. 11% and 133 so this line now is 11% is not 10% uh, so we're gonna do this on a coded uh, card opener so there it is on a frame so we should be seeing this here there's the center for the frame we're ready I'm gonna close this all right, stop framing, process, start. Now is on my little screen, I'm gonna press the button, and here we go. So it did the 11% uh, power, but it didn't do the 10% power. I'm curious, I'm gonna send something in 10% after this. So, it's doing the coated, and of course it's ripping off that coat and making it black under. So those are gonna be a little hard to see. That's where the light will help us. Almost done. There it is. So it actually did pretty good. Uh, I want to show you something with the ring light. So I have a coating here uh, with the ring light, and. You will see here, there's some, the, this one here is a little fuzzy actually on the edge, but might be because the coat, you know, melt with the heat, so that's not the laser. This one came out nice up here, which is in this case uh, like a 30% power, I believe. And this is on the fastest speed. So we use for this one, I believe 500. Uh, this one came out nice, the 10, 
eleven percent and I believe it was a ten. So it's not a bad test. It did good. There is a couple lines left. There's a couple little lines left here and there. And still this one has a halo, a white halo around it, even though this is a coated and not uh, still still has a halo. Alright, so let's jump to a cheapest material. Uh, maybe not the cheapest object, but it's a cheap material still. This also was an X tool material scent. So I'm gonna do this the test on the back of this business car. And I'll put you here so you can see what I'm doing in both cases. So I'm gonna erase this. So this is a different metal for different conditions, still steel. Uh, focus this first. So sometimes you have a little bit of a problem in the focusing because it's a really reflective item, but let's give it a try. First of all, let's close this to not contaminate light and turn off the ring light. And I'm going to click on focus. Here we go. It's gonna do his thing. Meanwhile, I'm creating here a little circle. There is a focus. This is 7.6. All right. Here we go. And again, this is going to be engraved. And just to make sure, infrared material test. I want to change the spacing. I want to do a little bit more on this. So I want eight rows, 10 columns. Um, and the minimum speed that this is going to start is going to be 10 and the maximum is going to be 1000. 10 and 1000. So I wanna do 10 and 10. I don't think it will fit now. Probably six will fit. Seven here. I remove one line. Yeah, this will fit. Okay, the spacing is fine. I'm gonna do the same thing on this. I'm going to remove this. So again, the corner left is going to be 10 and 10. And it goes basically to 175, 340, 505, 678, 35, and 1000 in speed. Power goes from 10 to 800. I want to leave it as a 10. I want to make sure that the 10 works. So I want to select this, ungroup it, erase the text underneath. Again, uh, this is a exo create space test grid. This is nothing that shouldn't be okay with the machine. So I'm going to frame so I can know where this is. I need to open this because I don't. I won't see it. So here, there it is. I'm gonna uh, align it there. All right. So now that this is close, stop framing. I'm gonna hit process. Start. Here's the new test grid for this material. I'm gonna put you guys there so you can see it on and start. So seems like you actually did a 10. So the last job decided to skip on the 10. That one, I think, is the 10 and 1000. You gotta love the sparkles. It's like, you know, when you're a kid, you have the sparkling things running around the house and everyone yelling at you because you're going to burn it down. 
So I can already see the stainless steel having a little bit of an issue and have it with heat deformation on it. But that's to be expected. Um, the regular fiber that I have from Hoti and Laser uh, have, have it the same thing if you are not careful. I think it's doing right now the 100% power on a 10 speed. I just count the rows and I skip the 10% again. Seems to not work on 10. So that's actually 20%. That's the one that did first. That's 50% power at 10 millimeters per second now. Just to let you all know, I'm not changing absolutely anything on how many lines i'm not changing frequency i'm using whatever is the default on the extra creative space the reason being is a lot of people don't know how to play with those uh, i use them on my fiber laser so the frequency you will lower frequency is more aggressive beam if you go higher on frequency is more soft of the beam in, in, in a way divide the power in more dots or attack in, in, in a higher rate that creates a different effect and of course affects different metals different in different ways as in as the same as all the materials as right now uh, my frequency is whatever was the default on extra great space And the line of a 10% is not showing at all. It's supposed to be doing it right now. It's not doing absolutely anything. I want to let it finish. There we go. It finished. It's kind of warm, but that's normal. So. Let's see how I can show you this. I don't think the ring light is going to be great for this show. So the 10% should be here and simply doesn't exist. It didn't do anything. Um, I'm going to say that every single one works as expected and everything looks good. It's just missing the whole 10% line at all because even though we don't have nothing here or we will have like a barely marking like in any other case at least the first one on the bottom should be showing something okay so we're in a couple of tests from the business card to a steel a coated steel and a thinner and cheaper brush steel. Uh, on the coated ones, I have some halos that I'm not really happy about, but I think I can try to work something out. I wish we should we, we have something similar to a crush hat. Uh, yeah, cross hatch. So we can actually do two passes in a different way. Uh, I think we should ask Excel to implement the option of over scanning to avoid these kind of issues. Uh, I'm going to keep doing more tutorials and more stuff coming for the machine and at the same time I'm going to be testing more, more, more items. Right now I'm testing the infrared because it's what everyone wants to know how the fiber infrared laser works. The blue light, I did a quick couple stuff. They're all working fine and there is a zero issue. So I don't want to go through all that right now. I will be doing test grids and everything with the blue light. I have the materials ready for it. Just want to make sure first that I get this out of my system because it's really bugging me. So if you have more tests that you want me to run and you want to see more content like this, please remember subscribe that, that helps us. Give us a thumbs up and as always, fire your laser.